Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. The number of COVID-19 cases have climbed to 53. That update came at a press briefing at Jamaica House this evening. It was also announced that the closure of the country's borders will remain for another two weeks. We have more in this report from Dwayne Anderson. The number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Jamaica now stands at 53, an increase of six cases since Thursday. And the authorities are seemingly matching the growing threat with tighter measures. Among them, the air and sea ports remain closed to visitors. The government of Jamaica will extend the period of closure of our borders to incoming passenger traffic. Uh, we continue to refine protocols for the eventual controlled entry of Jamaicans. On the matter of travel, the Prime Minister said 4,500 persons who arrived in Jamaica between March 18 and 23 have had their chance, but failed to voluntarily present themselves to health officials. Therefore, the state will be responding with tough penalties. We will know, as we find persons, as we discover them, charge them, and we will also we're required, or as necessary, place them into state quarantine. <laughs> Though this is an emergency, we have to comply with what is within the law. We, we have to make sure that we follow the process. My own view is that at some point in time, we will have to publish the names. As it relates to the quarantine measure in place in Cornpeace, Clarendon, that expired last night. That lockdown has been extended by a further 14 days. That's because the area continues to add to the list of confirmed cases in Jamaica. Therefore, further surveillance is required. As for the wider curfew, the Prime Minister says it has been working for the most part. But some changes will be made starting tonight. Uh, we understand that Indicom has asked that they be exempted, and we have agreed with that request. Uh, we see that it could be useful to ensure that citizens are protected and that policemen are protected as well. Um, we are now going to specifically prohibit the opening of gas stations um, starting tonight at 8 um, p.m. Seven persons are said to have recovered from COVID-19 in Jamaica while three have died from complications associated with the virus. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.